So, uh, have you ever been to a meeting before? No, I haven't. Okay. okay. So, um, what happens is, as I give my speech to you, your loved ones start to clear out my own personal thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and they start to replace them with signs and symbols of things that I've experienced here in the physical world to be able to relay messages to you. I see shadows and silhouettes, and more importantly, I feel an emotional bond that you shared with them. Um, so, there is a mother energy that is stepping forward. Your grandmother departed? Yes. She says, these boys, somebody's got to keep them in line. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's so funny. And she said, boys. Oh, my gosh. There was a lot of boys. <laughs> um, um, how do you connect with the blood? I just tasted blood. So either someone passed from blood disease disorder or there was a lot of blood at the departure. My head doesn't stop. Okay, my, okay. You, you, my brother Tony must be coming through. He got shot in the okay. head. A lot of blood. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I feel, I feel very weird right now. I just feel like this electricity type feeling going through me right now. That's them. Because I have like the chills right now. Like, you know? Because it's them acknowledging that soul bond. I had five brothers. My brother Tony uh, was the first to go, you know, when he was 25. He was shot and killed. My other brother, his name is Jerry, lost him when he was 33, and that was a drug overdose. All my brothers were my world, but um, my brother Dwight, his passing, you know, his sudden passing. I had a very difficult time. I just couldn't handle what had happened. And it's still very hard. It's still hard. I miss him every day. Every day, there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss him. My brother that passed four years ago, that's, he's basically the one that I am mm -hmm. struggling, mm -hmm. struggling with. Right. The most. You know, I'm really, really struggling with him. Okay. I feel like your one brother, that brother that passed four years ago, he's got a gift to gab, boy. Oh, he's yeah. got a, he's a smooth talker. Yes, he is. He just said something to me and I was like, ooh, hey. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. <laughs> but it like made me feel weird inside. <laughs> he, he was, he was, he like, was. I feel like he's a, he's, I don't want to say a play, like a. No, he's just but he's a, so funny. He's just like a smooth talker. Like yes. he can make you melt in yes. his hands. Yes, like, everybody. Like by just. Everybody. Because he keeps trying to tell me he's famous. Yes, he is. He is famous. My brother Dwight was amazing, bubbly, funny. Everybody thought, you know, that he would have been a comedian in his life. Um, he could be serious at times, but he was always about family. His family always came first. Um, was your I, I, was your brother very the famous one? Yes. Did he like music? Uh, he liked old school music, though. Cause he just brought out, like I think he brought out, and he's doing like beatbox stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Is that it? Is that? <laughs> did, did I just do something really weird and stupid? <laughs> okay, continue because you're on. You're on it. And he keeps going, hey, 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 Fat Albert, and he's oh shouting. Oh god! I, I'm seeing like all like old school yes. like break dancing, yes. MC yes. Hammer, yes. like yes. All over the world, a lot of people know my brother as Heavy D. But I know him as Dwight. He was in a group called Heavy D and the Boys. One of the songs that he did back then was Now That We Found Love. And he played in a lot of uh, different sitcoms. He appeared on Different World, The Tracy Morgan Show. He was on there as a regular. He did quite a few movies like Cider House Rules. We were all very, very proud of everything that he accomplished in his 44 years of his life, you know, from when the time that he started to the sudden passing. I miss my brother Dwight every single day. There's not a day that I don't go by and I don't cry or I, I think of him and I just wish he could be standing in front of me um, just so that I could hug him and tell him how much he means to me. He labored my breathing. Um, so, so who passed from the heart, lungs, or, or chest? When my brother passed away, um, 
he did have a difficult time breathing. Four years ago, my brother Dwight, um, better known as Heavy D to the world, um, was on tour in Europe. And when he came back, he wasn't feeling well. And the next day, which I, I can remember it like it was yesterday, he went to the store and um, on his way back, the doorman um, saw him collapse. And I guess he was asking for help, saying that he couldn't breathe. By the time he got to the hospital or whatever, he, he had passed. It was a clot from DVT, deep vein thrombosis. And it all stemmed from flying on an airplane. He goes, you know, my sister does enough going over the way that I died. He said, and this is why my sister and my family has not been able to start to heal from my departure. Yes, exactly. He says, I want it to stop. He said, because it's not gonna change the fact, Teresa, that I died that day. So he says, what I need you to do is visualize me standing here. I want you to take all of this anger. I want you to visualize me standing there and you telling me and handing back to me all of these burdens and guilts because it's starting to change you as a person. It is. He says, and I will not have that. That's why the timing of your session now is so important. Timing is everything because you're ready to let it go. I've been very angry since my brother passed away. I'm, number one, I'm angry that he's not here anymore because of, you know, the DVT, you know, the thrombosis thing, because he hated to fly. I hated that, that that, that happened to him. And it was so sudden. I mean, there's not a day that I don't cry or I, it's still hard. I miss him every day. And I just wish he could be standing in front of me um, just so that I could hug him and tell him how much he means to me. He says, and I know that she feels, where's the justice? Yeah. How about justice knowing that your brother's soul is safe and at peace? Fair enough? Yes, absolutely. If his soul was not at peace, I would not have been able to hear it. Let that be enough. I was really happy to hear from my brother and all the things that Teresa was saying because she was point right there, dead on with everything, you know, and I need to um, try to let things go.